Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Honda Aircraft Company unveils Honda Jet 2600 concept. Also, Diamond announces all electric DA40 and Jant Air Mobility to merge with Aero Group. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Honda Aircraft Company unveils Honda Jet 2600 concept. Honda Aircraft took the wraps off their new Honda Jet 2600 concept at a special event hosted by Honda Aircraft Company at NBAA 2021, where they displayed a mock-up. The Honda Jet 2600 concept inherits Honda's over-the-wing engine mount configuration, natural laminar flow technology on wings and fuselage nose, and carbon composite fuselage. What might it do, you may be asking. The HJ2600 has a range of 2625 nautical miles and also features a high-speed cruise of 450 knots and a ceiling of 47,000 feet. It will reportedly offer significantly more passenger space as well as a cabin with greatly reduced vibration compared to conventional light jets. Due to the OTWEM configuration, this aircraft also reportedly has the tallest cabin height and offers a cabin altitude of 6,363 feet at its max operating altitude of 47,000 feet. Finally, the aircraft will also offer three types of modular and highly customizable cabin configurations. The HJ2600 may be the first transcontinental jet designed for single pilot operation with an advanced cockpit incorporating innovative technologies such as electrification and automated systems, including auto throttle and auto brake, among others. After the break, NBAA members pledge net zero CO2 by 2050. More news after these messages. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal, 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first-of-its-kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at Zephyr.eu. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Modernized radar altimeter on the way. Free Flight System has announced the progress of their RA5500 and RA6500 terrain series radar altimeters on track for TSO certification by the end of 2021. Both units are certified to FAA and EASA's TSO C87A and ETSO C87A certifications. They are designed to simplify retrofitment for those systems with control heads, cabling, and antennas installed by integrating with legacy equipment. NBAA members pledge net zero CO2 by 2050. Business aviation leaders pledged to achieve net zero CO2 emissions by 2050 after expanding and refining their earlier climate commitments amidst a busy week of sustainability announcements. The heads of the General Aviation Manufacturers Association, International Business Aviation Council, and the NBAA set a target for the industry to increase fuel efficiency by 2% per year through 2030. This follows up a 2009 goal set by the Business Aviation Commitment on Climate Change made in 2009. Smart Sky Networks begins taking orders. 
Next Gen Air to Ground Networking Specialist begin accepting orders for its early arrival promotion. Operators looking for improved internet service may find the newest competitor intriguing for its use of a bi-directional data link that promises real-time, low-latency, office-in-the-sky performance. Quoted performance is stated to be over 10 times better than currently available ATG services. Smart Skies, OEM, and MRO partners can now begin installations, complete STCs, and offer their products for widespread use. Innovative Solutions and Support announces ThrustSense Auto Throttle Deliveries. Innovative Solutions and Support announced availability of its ThrustSense Auto Throttle System for King Airs for immediate delivery, as well as CJ Series aircraft with ProLine 21, Fusion, and Garmin Avionics for delivery in 2022. The ISNS Auto Throttle is a full regime system that allows the pilot to automatically control the power setting of the engines and speed targets from takeoff to landing, including go around. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now, as we turn to the rest of the news, Diamond announces all electric DA40. Diamond Aircraft's experimentation with electric aircraft began a decade ago when they unveiled their hybrid DA36 E Star, a modified HK36 motor glider. Its sequel arrived two years later, the E Star 2, sporting increased payload and performance. Continued collaboration with corporate partner Siemens brought the HEMEP, the hybrid electric multi engine. After years of development, Diamond feels confident that technology has matured enough to offer their first fully electric general aviation trainer, the EDA40. Partnering with battery technology company Electric Power Systems, Diamond will integrate their EPIC ecosystem into the aircraft. The DC fast charging systems promises to turn around a depleted aircraft in less than 20 minutes after it refills the custom designed belly pod and forward bulkhead. Epic batteries have been on track for TSO authorization in Q2 2022, with systems already successfully taking flight throughout 20 unique battery systems for electric aircraft. The system is expected to cut operating cost about 40% compared to traditional piston trainer. In its initial release state, runtime is expected up to 90 minutes in flight until further battery system evolution enhances performance further. After these messages, John Dare Mobility partners with another company. Details after the break. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. Jaunt Air Mobility will merge with another company. Jaunt Air Mobility has announced its upcoming merger with the IRA Group, a composite of six aerospace businesses focused in the AAM market. The group offers commercial, robotics, unmanned systems, and multi-model aircraft. 
and avionics under its umbrella. Jaunt has found its niche in the global eVTOL AAM market using its patented slow rotor compound technology. SRC slows the rotation of the rotor once aloft, reducing drag, vibration, and noise while in cruise. With a streamlined fuselage and efficient wing, the journey John's entry into the AAM market is said to have nearly imperceptible rotor noise, standing apart from the other entrants in the market. The streamlined form is part helicopter and part glider. The company says, Iroh has existing revenue in its current civilian and military operations and has historically reinvested earnings into independent research and development. Therefore, additional capital required to produce fully operational eVTOL aircraft craft is substantially reduced to our advantage compared with our competitors. The current market cap of companies in the eVTOL program space and urban air mobility platforms are very significant. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.